On this fine Sunday morning, we see a young man walking through the park heading for his Bible reading. We can see that this young man is cheerful that he possesses the Book of the Lord. As we take a closer look at this fine young man, we notice that he is dressed up to the Lord's standards and proudly holds the Bible. Just look at that Bible! Isn't it wonderful? Here is where we see the face of a good Samaritan. We'll be calling this young man John from now on, since that sounds like a good person name. Let us appreciate how John is taking time out of his day to read the Word of God. Everything seems to be going fine until, ugh, Ezekiel shows up. You see, viewers, Ezekiel is not a normal churchgoer like you or I. Rather, he seems to be the work of Satan, a person who never takes the time to read the Bible and acknowledges the Word of God. Now, rather than taking consideration for others around him, Ezekiel seems to push others out of his way. He even laughs about it. That is such a sick thing to do. Thankfully, John can help the stranger up from the ground. We'll call the stranger Ishmael for now. While Ezekiel may think he's on a walk, things are about to change for this no-good hooligan. Notice how Ishmael is giving a light scolding to Ezekiel for his bad deeds. He cannot go any further in punishment, as it would be a sin to the Bible, and would go to hell, suffering for all eternity. As Ezekiel tries to outrun Ishmael and John, he's now realizing that it was a bad idea to go against the Bible. Now, as John and Ishmael are ready to seek vengeance upon him. As we see, Ezekiel tries to escape, but he is unfortunately no match for our saviors. As he is being lifted, John and Ishmael are taking Ezekiel to his rightful place where he should have gone a long time ago. While the handling of Ezekiel may seem disturbing to some, it's just a consequence from God for ruining the name of the Bible. John and Ishmael can perform a ritual common in these parts of the country. Now begins the baptism, a ritual done to those who have sinned against the Bible. As the baptism is taking place, John begins a sermon and speaks the word of God. That'll teach Ezekiel not to take the time to read the words of God from the Bible. Oh, Ezekiel, when will you learn? <laughs> 